It took me two and a half years to finally figure out what electricity is. It's actually very simple. Imagine an atom as a solar system. The nucleus in the middle is like the sun, and the electrons around it are like the eight planets. The difference is that we cannot predict the exact position of an electron at a certain moment. We can only describe the probability of an electron appearing in a certain area in the form of an electron cloud. The behavior of these difficult-to-describe electrons determines the existence of electricity. Compared with the huge mass of the nucleus, the electron is like a speck of dust in the universe, which can easily fly out of the atom. However, the current generated by this is that in a stable state, the number of protons in the atom is equal to the number of electrons, and the number of positive charges of protons is balanced with the number of negative charges of electrons. Atoms are uncharged in the ground state, but when atoms lose or gain electrons, the atomic charge will lose balance, thus forming positive or negative ions. At the same time, since each electron layer of an atom can accommodate a limited number of electrons, the newly added electrons will always give priority to filling the outer electron layer with vacancies. When the outer electron layer is filled, the atom will return to a stable state. This situation often happens in life. For example, when we rub the carpet with our feet, the electrons on our body will be absorbed by the carpet, and the carpet will not easily release electrons so our body will be positively charged. At this time, if we touch the door handle with our hands, we will immediately feel a sharp electric shock. This is because the metal door handle is a conductor, and its outer electrons are easily lost. The electrons will quickly transfer to the body to restore the balance of charge. It is in this gain and loss that the movement of charge generates electricity. Like and follow for more informative 3D videos.